This is the homework uh, from 5.2. I just figured I'd show you a few examples of how to do uh, some problems in this section. So this is uh, f of x equals 8 ln x, and they want us to graph it with technology. Notice they're giving us the window here. All right, always pay attention to that because your graph will never look like what they have if you don't adjust your window. All right, so um, I'm going to type in exactly what I see, 8 times the natural log of x. Okay, and I hit uh, before I hit graph, I'm going to hit window, and I'm going to change it to all this stuff I see here. So this is the x min, the x max. All right, and then the uh, y min, the y max, and the y scale. So the y min was already negative 10. Y max is now 10, and the y scale is 1. Okay, now when I hit graph. Now all I'm doing is trying to match up what I see on the graphs here. Okay, so um, this one already D is out. All right, B is out, so it's down to A and C. Okay, now when you get down to there, um, this graph crosses right at one. At, at one, when I plug in one, it looks like it's about one goes to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right around seven. Alright, over here it crosses at one. When I plug in one I get about one, two, three, four, five ish. And maybe six. Okay. On this one when I hit trace and I type in one. Alright. I get zero, I'm sorry, not one, two. When I hit two, I get about 5.5. Okay, and remember with this one, we're getting about five something, five or six. And with this other one, when we plug in two, we're getting something close to seven. So that means our answer is going to be A. All right, now jumping ahead, number ten. Use property of logarithms with the given approximations to evaluate the expression. So, with this problem, I'm going to use the K. Okay. So, they're giving me the log base B of 2 equals this, the log base B of 7 equals this. Right? So, the log base B of this, the first one, this, the uh, the log base b of one of them equals this. The log base b of this one equals this. The product of this m and n, all right, the product of two and seven is fourteen, all right, equals the sum of these two logs. So the the uh, log base b of fourteen is going to equal the sum of the log base b of two and the sum of log base b of seven. So that means I can take my calculator and I can just add these two decimals together. 0.693 plus 1.46, 2.639, and that's my answer. All right. Now, this last one I want to show you, this is a monster one. This is a, a really kind of a tricky problem. All right, this is question uh, 25 from the homework. And it says to quantify the intensity of a sound, the decibel level uh, was developed. The formula for the loudness is equal to this, right? Where I naught is the intensity of the sound just below the threshold of hearing, which is approximately this. Okay. First of all, you're not going to use this number at all. Okay. Compare the decimal readings of two sounds. The intensity of the first is 530 times the intensity of the second. All right. So once again, I'm going to kind of minimize this and move it over here to where I can. Um, uh, oops. Where I can uh, let me just clear all this out. So, what we have here is uh, the loudness of two. Oops, we're going to do loudness of one minus two. All right, it tells us that we want to find how much louder the first sound is than the second. Well, how do we find out how? much louder one thing is than the other. We subtract. Okay. Now, it also tells us that the intensity 
of sound 1 is equal to 530 times the intensity of sound 2. All right. That's this is the important thing. This is where everything is going to take place. All right. Now, in this problem, L, the L's we're talking about over here equals 10 log of all this stuff. So, L equals 10 times the log of I over I naught. Right, so I guess I should be using capital I's here. Alright, so for L1, that means L1 is equal to 10 times the log of I1 over I naught. Alright, the intensity of that sound is I1. Alright, the intensity of I2 is I2. So L2 is equal to 10 times the log of I2 over I naught. Alright, now, if you just bear with me here, we're going to come up with a shortcut for you to do this thing. L1 minus L2 is equal to this minus this is equal to 10 times the log of I1 over I0 minus 10 times the log of I2 over I0. Alright, now, um, I0 or I1 up here is equal to 530 times I2. So we got 10 times log of I'm going to change that to 530 times I2 over I0 minus the 10 times log of I2 over I0 still. We're not going to do anything to that one. Alright, let me change the size of this brush down a little bit. It's a little bit too big. Alright, now, after we get this, we start using properties to expand this thing. So I'm going to hold on to this 10 for a second. And I'm going to expand this because I have a quotient rule and I have a product rule. I'm going to expand this and say that this is the log of 530 times I2 All right, minus the log of I naught. All right, that's the property of logs. I can take a quotient and expand it into two logs. All right, minus, I'm going to do the same thing here, 10 times. This is the log of the numerator, I2, uh, minus the log of the denominator, I naught. All right, now I've got a product inside of a log, so I can expand that. So 10, and again, just bear with me. We're going to get a shortcut formula here, and it's going to be all worth all our trouble. All right, minus 10 times all this stuff again, log I2. All right, and now I'm going to distribute this 10 through all the way through to all of these three logs. And then I'm going to distribute this 10 through. And so I'm going to get 10 times the log of 530. All right, so what I've done here is I've distributed this 10 through here, and I've got 10 log 530 plus 10 log I2. Right, minus 10 log I naught, and then distribute this minus 10 through, and I got minus 10 log I2, and a minus times a minus is a plus 10 log I naught. What's going to happen here? This 10 log I2 and this minus 10 log I2 cancel. This minus 10 log I naught and this plus 10 log I naught cancel. So what are we left with? The only thing left is 10 times the log of 530. Now, there's our shortcut. Look at your original formula. 
your original formula is 10 log i over i naught. 530 is the factor that, that one is, is louder than the other. It's how many times one is loud, or more intense than the other. So what does this end up being? All of this stuff right, ends up being just 10 times the log and instead of this just put in 530. All right? And that'll be our answer every time that we do a problem like this because it always is going to simplify down to that. All right, so 10 times the log of 530, and then they're going to want you to round this to the nearest whole number, so 27 roughly. All right now, if you were to do this viewing uh, viewing the example, let me just show you real quick. If you were to do this viewing the example, look at all this stuff it has you do. Okay. It changes all this stuff and it makes all these ratios and it raises things to powers and it goes into this ridiculously long grave detail about everything. Alright. When all in all, if you look down here at the very end, for this one it's ten thousand times more than the other. 10 times the log of 10,000. Okay, so it's the same thing that we just did. 10 times the log, instead of this, put in the intensity factor and then just put it on your calculator and hit enter and round it. Okay, that's all you have to do to this problem. Okay, so I'm going to hit similar exercise, just show you it works. This time the intensity factor is 610, so I'm going to put in 10 log 610 enter and that rounds to 28. Alright. This time it's 790. 10 log 790. That rounds to 29. Okay. So it's that's going to work every time. Just replace this I over I naught with the uh, intensity factor. And that way you, you won't rip your hair out or beat your head against the wall too much. All right.